coast a ways to the east, you'll find the wreck of the brine. I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. Heard that many, so many times. It's getting old, there guys. There's about the Solitude Windmill, but I didn't expect it to be that big. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's scary in there. Well, I suppose in that case it's okay to let you in. But only briefly. Be careful and come right back. Don't mess anything up while you're here. Unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under Your my Your Eminence, rule. my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said... From the castle, you used to just be able to see solitude over the mountains. That's exactly what I'd imagined. So I will have someone to take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. I've got what I came for. I better get back to Dragonbridge. I've done my part. Dragonbridge will have extra guards. Falk Firebeard will find a way to take care of the cave. I'd better get going. I am the Jarl's steward. If you have court business to tend to, you talk to me. That remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. Of course he does. What sort of a question is that? Maybe you've been listening to Eriker. There's been loose talk among some of the Thames, and I suspect he's the cause of it. You'll pay those rumors no heed if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You do well to remember that. <clears throat> you mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. The cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. Please address all questions to the steward, Falk Firebeard. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius' leadership. For what other choice do we have? Not yet, no. 
Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow, now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before my husband, and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury, my husband, he... He simply ceased to be. That is all I will say. For it grieves me to speak of it. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. Jarls come and Jarls go, but a good cook stays for a lifetime, and I'm a very, very good cook. Watch your feet. We just clean there. my dear oh I couldn't it goes right through me besides I have so many things to do so many undesirables to contend with naysayers buffoons detractors why my my headsman hasn't slept in three days you are far too hard on yourself my dear sweet homicidally insane Pelagius what would the people do without you dance sing smile <laughs> Grow old! You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporting. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Harumph! Well, then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. Pelagius, 
the third? Now, surely even you know about Pelagius' decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death! That's right! Death! Outlawed! Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song! A summons! Wait, uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Were you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Bolag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Ah? Oh, the ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! <laughs> I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter! But honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You don't realize who you're dealing with here. Surely, good guess. But only half right. I'm a mad god. The mad god, actually. It's a family title. Gets passed down from me to myself every few thousand years. Now you... You can call me Anne-Marie. But only if you're partial to being flayed alive and having an angry immortal skip rope with your entrails. If not, then call me Sheagora, Daedric Prince of Madness. Charmed. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> Now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure, sure. Or you could use the Wabajack! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That Tell woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, 
but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned in a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. Simple, you simpleton. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy while they do the same. Creature doesn't appear to be faring any better than before. that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sir. And we're that much closer to home. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. <laughs> ah! Now 
of this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Here we go! Wonderfully done! Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue hating everyone else. Here we go! You can't beat me! Is he doing the fish stick? It's a very delicate state of mind. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So. Congratulations! You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Gabriel, now so boringly stained. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabajack as a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now, and if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! Ha <laughs> ha! Ta-ta!
You need to leave. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding, you see. So many details to work out. Ah, yes. If she wants to pay the 2,000 gold tariff, then we'll be all set. I suppose I could make an exception. I do like her spiced wine. Fine. Tell Yvette San her shipment will be brought up to Solitude shortly. You need to leave now. Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Anywhere, just out of this. supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be in here. I'm not gonna warn you again. Get it! Be careful. What is it? The Empress cousin between. What do you need? I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold yes. support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also I don't abide fancy clothes, the but you look like you might. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, selection. fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Something to report? I am a loyal citizen of the Empire. My parents were legionnaires, and I've followed in their footsteps. But more importantly, I am a daughter of Skyrim, and wish to see her made whole again. I've been a daughter of Skyrim all my life. I love this land, and her people. So do all the Nords that serve the Empire. Ulfric, too, once. He wasn't always a self-serving egomaniac. He fought in the Imperial Army in the war against the Dominion. But Ulfric and his Stormcloaks are deluding themselves. If there's any hope of a long-term victory against the Dominion, it's in the Empire. The Rebels are only inflaming the tension and weakening the Empire by distracting it from its ultimate aim. I consider this conversation over. The General and I have our dis- I hope Ulfric will come to his senses. 
but I fear he's in too far to stop now. Likely only Ulfric's death or the overthrow of the Jarl supporting him will end this. Either way, much blood will be spilt. But more importantly, I am a... I'm a soldier, not a politician. And my personal beliefs are not yours to question. Until next time. Make it quick. I get enough delays from politicians. The Thalmor, do you have any idea what you're asking? I'm sorry, that's just not possible. It would cause far too many problems. There's not much up there, but if we can regain Winterhold, our proximity to Windhelm should keep Ulfric wary and wasting troops garrisoned at home. Controlling the Pale gives Ulfric a port town and takes the pressure off of Windhelm. But it's only a matter of time before it's back in our hands. Hjalmarch is an important buffer zone between the rebel forces and the capital. Ulfric will try to break through at some point. Ulfric's Stormcloak's head rolling away from his lifeless body. The Legion's always been here. Without us to keep order, the provinces would fall into barbarism and lawlessness. Especially Skyrim. Take, for example, Ulfric Stormcloak and his little rebellion. But rest assured, his days are numbered. I'm originally from Cyrodiil, sent here at the request of the Emperor himself. I'm often ordered to places with problems that need fixing. Now, while I'm certain this is all terribly interesting to you, I have important matters to attend. Make it quick. I get enough delays from politicians. Out with it. Not my finest hour. Rogvir was a fine and honorable man. Sometimes you just do what needs to be done. You don't have to hate a man to kill him. Though, admittedly, it helps. Not my finest hour. No, I think he was entirely wrong. Rogvir's execution was justified and necessary. Being honorable might make you a good man, but it doesn't make you right. Be a better world if it did. Generally posting information is need to know only. I... I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. Her daughter was sent to Whiterun. The skirmishes there have been violent. The Whiterun legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. What is it? Dragons? Dragons could swoop down at any time. Feel free to make requests. Sure. 
What can I do for you? Yes. Our hero, our hero, paint a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes with a voice wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Ah, good. Believe, Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. Beware, beware, Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Arangoth for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry, and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. Look, I've told you everything. Now leave me alone. If you Welcome to the Wink. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Feel free to make requests. There's nothing like a good song to lift the spirit in troubled times. Let me know if there's anything else you need.